Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how I made this awesome maze game here on the Stepcraft M1000 CNC. It's a great gift for anyone and we do sell plans for this on our website. There's a link down in the description. Without further ado, let me show you how I made it. Starting on a new project here to make a maze game board for my daughter. We do sell the plans for this on our website, so definitely check those out there if you're interested in making it yourself. I'm using the 45771-K 30 degree engraving bit here to just engrave the acrylic with where the start and finish position will be. Using the Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine with the auto tool changer, I'll drop off and pick up the RC-45771. This is a bit that we're going to go through and make some countersinks for where the screw heads will go later on. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. We'll drop that off and pick up the 51441-K 1 16th inch spiral O flute bit to just cut the rest of the acrylic for where these screws will go through. After that is done, we'll drop that one off and pick up the 51404-K 1 quarter inch spiral O flute up cut bit and this will just go through the 8th inch acrylic in a single pass leaving really nice clean cuts along the edges. The paper did get a bit frayed but that's alright because the paper will be coming off here in just a little bit. We'll get that pulled off the CNC as I held it down using some x and brand double sided tape and you can see the screw heads are countersunk nicely and we have the acrylic portion ready to go. We'll get down some 3 quarter inch oak down on the CNC and we'll get that all clamped in place. And then I'll use the 46202-K quarter inch down cut bit to cut a pocket for that acrylic. Just testing the fit here and I do want a little bit of wiggle room so that way if there's any wood movement it won't crack the acrylic. We'll drop that off and pick up the 46233-K 1 16th inch down cut bit just to cut out those screw location holes. This could have been done after and done everything with the quarter inch bit first but I like to get that done before we cut the profile. So we'll switch back out for the 46202-K and cut the marble pocket in. This is where the marble is going to run through the maze. This is a down cut bit and it's definitely necessary to have one that leaves a nice clean cut like this does. This would be a nightmare to try to clean up all of these edges if you had any sort of fray. So a down cut bit is definitely the right choice here. So we'll use that same down cut bit to go through and cut the handle pockets. We'll do that in three passes. We did apply ore mask to this piece. We're not actually doing anything uh, with the ore mask, but it does help you be able to see while filming uh, what cuts we're making. So it's a lot more obvious what's being done. So we just have that on there for filming purposes. Then we'll get the profile all cut out, then get it all vacuumed off and pulled off of the CNC. We'll use the AMM 300 fine multi-tool to go through and remove those tabs. We do sell that on our website, so definitely check that out there. We'll get it taken over to the router table and use the 49504 one quarter inch radius roundover bit to go ahead and flush trim those tabs and round over the bottom as well. I went around on all sides and did the same roundover. This left a really nice clean cut on the oak and left it so that I didn't have any sort of cleanup to do. I also rounded over the pockets for the handles so that they're nicer to the touch. I then used a Naga deburring tool, we do sell this on our website, to just deburr the edge of that acrylic to make it not so sharp to the touch. It definitely worked out nice, I don't want any sort of edge where my daughter could get cut or anything like that and this was absolutely perfect for that and left a nice soft edge on there. I wrote a little message on the back just like I always do for projects for my daughter and then finished everything off using some Minwax spray lacquer and satin on both sides. I did a few coats here and then we have it ready to go. I inserted the ball into the maze. I do have links in the plans for all of the hardware that's used here so you can definitely check those out and the holes on the acrylic lined up perfectly with the holes that we drilled in the woods so that was definitely really nice to see. We got everything all screwed down so that way this acrylic doesn't come off and this piece is done. I absolutely love the way that this maze turned out and it's been awesome watching Katie play with it as she definitely loves it but anyways that's going to do it for this one. I will let Katie do a bit of a sign off here but hopefully you enjoyed it. Have a great day, everybody. Hey, Katie. What? I got something for what? you. I got you a maze. We made it for you. Look, there's a ball inside, and this is the start, and that's where you finish. And you have to figure out how to get the ball all the way down there. Ah, you love it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. You're going to have fun playing with your maze? I'll play with it all day. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.